notes, you know, her stuff to me, like a movie just stand up. Sometimes it hit or miss with me, but I can't deny stats. I can't deny numbers. She she making a lot of money. She putting on a lot of people. She is very successful. And you can't hate on that. So I think she is a legend already. Let's see what the video says. What's up, YouTube? This is Beasley TV coming to you with another video. And this one right here is a reaction video. And the question is, is Tiffany Haddish a legend? Let's get into it. Sometimes, you know, her stuff to me, like... A movie just stand up. Sometimes it hit or miss with me, but I can't deny stats. I can't deny numbers. She, she making a lot of money. She putting on a lot of people. She is very successful, and you can't hate on that. So I think she is a legend already. Let's see what the video says. Tiffany Haddish is a legend. Y'all heard me right. You heard what I said. Tiffany Haddish is a legend. Let's discuss. First of all, Tiffany Haddish is one of the few black female comedians that have been a part of multiple $100 million grossing comedies where she played a lead character. Look it up. Not many have done it. Also, one of the few black female comedians who has multiple stand-up specials on a major platform. Look that up as well. I get it. There's a large group of you who don't like her. Oh, she plays the same character. All she does is play the sassy, crazy black girl. Well, you got to give her credit for that. Because unfortunately, the crazy, sassy black woman is a male-dominated field. That role is always played by men and giving credit to men for doing it well. But all of a sudden, whenever a woman does it well, it's an issue? Sounds like a you thing. Pause video right here. I never thought about that. I never thought about that. Like, Shanene, Respucia, uh, Medea, Wanda, like, all the, uh, other, you know, Shan all these other Martin characters or something like that. Like, these, these parts should be for women, but they're not. They're taken over by, I think Marlon Wayans has done it before. They're taken over by men. That's crazy. Like, black, black women get stereotyped for being this way. But they're not even the ones really doing it as much. It's really meant. That's weird. That's something for us to think about. We're going back into it. Doesn't sound like a Tiffany thing. Actually sounds like a woman from the WNBA came and made it to the NBA. Sounds impressive to me. And the kicker, with Netflix being the biggest platform for stand-up comedy. Tiffany Haddish with They Ready Part 2 has now put on 12 comedians that wouldn't have had the opportunity to be on such a big platform for whatever reason. It had nothing to do with their ability to do comedy because if you watch it, you realize they're all good. But as soon as she got on, she wasted no time reaching back to pull people with her. How many black comedians or black people in entertainment can you name who put 12 people in major position outside of Eddie Murphy, uh, Martin Lawrence, um, mm, Ice Cube? Not a lot. You can't go a whole lot past that. Tiffany Haddish, in this short period of time, has shown that she's a legend. And maybe it's time for people to start putting some respect on her name. Because while people are worrying about if she's funny or not, she may be the change that sparks, I don't know, black women getting the credit they deserve in comedy, maybe getting paid the way that they should for their contribution to comedy. Maybe, maybe one day. What's it? Daphne Good point. Springs pulling out a gun in her sketches that have millions of views will have comments that support her comedic genius the same way that people rush to the box office to see Tyler Perry do the same thing instead of questioning whether her doing it will hurt her career. I don't know, man. You know, maybe. Things with Saturday, shout out to Ryan Davis. Love the channel. I've been subscribing for a while. He 
expose like he said everything perfectly. I agree with everything. Like whether or not you think she's funny, whether or not you think she's talented, she's been successful. She's breaking way for women, especially black women, to do their thing, to be able to reach the heights that she has reached. She's, you know, helping the community, the black community, by reaching back and pulling people up. She's giving exposure to comedians who had not had the exposure before her. So, people who are down in Tiffany Haddish, like, I mean, you can do what you want, but, like, I, I'm, I'm ignoring that shit. Because it's, it's, it's whatever. You may, It's a lot of comedians that people don't like, you know what I'm saying? But people seem to, like, try to down Tiffany Haddish, like, try to humble her or try to knock her off some kind of high horse. So, in my opinion, of the, I mean, it's not many female legends anyway, like Monique, and then there's, I don't know, Monique, Monique Tiffany Haddish, I mean, what you gonna say, Roseanne? I mean, I guess if you if if you think she's a legend, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't put her in the, as a legend in my book. Um, I'm probably missing somebody. Who am I missing? I don't. I, I'm probably missing somebody, but like, who am I missing? I feel like I miss somebody, but hey. Tiffany Haddish is a legend. Is, uh, Tiffany Haddish is a legend. Legend. So, if you got a problem with her, just like you said, maybe it's your, maybe it's a personal problem. This is Beasley TV, and we out.